Welcome to the tutorial video for the Comlet My Sites platform, the new cloud interface to manage all of your door entry sites and more. In this video, we will help you set up your account and get you connected to the system. Let's get started. First, open your web browser and navigate to mysites.comletgroup.com. If you already have a Comlet account, you can use your username and password in order to log in. If you don't have an account yet, click on the link to be redirected to the Comlet professional website. In the top right corner, click the sign up button in order to start your subscription. In the account creation window, enter your email address, choose your password, select your user type and country, and accept the privacy policy. Next, click the register button to submit the form. A confirmation window should appear that your account has been successfully created. To finish the registration process, check your inbox for the confirmation email and click the confirmation link. Close the sign-in screen and navigate back to mysites.comletgroup.com. Enter your credentials and click on the login button. You are now connected and ready to start working with the MySites platform. We will help you create a site and add it to your favorites. On the dashboard of My Sites, you will find a navigation menu on the left. This menu allows you to return to the dashboard, browse through sites or devices, and manage users who can access or manage sites. On the central part of the page, there is a map on which the sites that you manage will appear. The widgets next to it give an overview of the status of the managed sites. The first step is to create a new site. To do so, click on the Add button in the right top corner of the screen and select Site. A pop-up will appear. Enter the name and address of the site you want to create. Whilst doing so, the pin on the map should automatically point to the right location. An image can be added to the site by dragging and dropping it into the placeholder. Select the site type and, if needed, also fill in the contacts of a site reference. Click Save to confirm the site creation. The new site is now created. To go back to edit the site data, Click on the three dots on the right side and select Edit. A site can be deleted or shared in the same way. In front of the site name, a clickable star symbol will appear. Clicking the star will add the site to your favorite sites. Favorite sites can be recognized by the black star. Returning to the dashboard, the site will now be visible on the map. In this video, we will help you add a device to a site and set it up properly. Let's get started. From the dashboard or the sites page, click on the name of the site in which the device needs to be added. A new page will open with the site details. In the devices section of the page, click the add device button. A pop-up will appear asking for the ID 32 of the device. This ID32 can be found on the device as a QR code or on the web page of the device. After the MySites platform verifies if the ID32 is entered correctly, it will request a device description. Enter a description and press complete. If the device is online and connected to the internet, you should see the device properties and its connection and device status as online and functioning. If this is not the case, 
Verify the device and its connection. Click on the device name to see the details. Scrolling down, there is another section with the number of installed and available licenses to the device. You have now added a device to the system. In this video, we will help you add apartments to a device on a site. Let's get started. From the dashboard, click on the site to which the apartments need to be added. Next, click on the apartment list icon in the device table. A new page will load displaying an empty table. Apartments can be added in different ways. If a large number of units needs to be created, a bulk import could be easier. This can be done through the VIP Manager software. Please contact our help desk if you need any help on this process. In this case, we will add the apartments manually. Click the Add Apartment button. The first field to complete is the VIP address. This is the internal address of the apartment on the Comlet VIP system. The VIP address is an alphanumeric ID of 8 characters that needs to be unique on the system. Typically, this will be the apartment number. In the case apartment stations are installed in the units, please consult the installer in order to have the right configuration. If the installation is app only, you can enter a unique apartment ID identifying every unit. In this example, we will use two digits for the building, two digits for the floor, and four digits for the apartment. So, our first apartment will be 01010001. Give the apartment a description and assign a license. Typically, if an apartment station is present, this will be the slave, otherwise choose master or timed depending on the license type installed on the device. Press Save to confirm and create the apartment. Repeat the process to create all required apartment units. The names linked to the apartments, for example, the name of the family living in the apartment, can be synced to the door station directory. This can be activated per apartment. The name, in this case Adams, will now be available in the name directory of the building store station. This will allow visitors to search and call the Adams family. You have now added apartments to the system. In this video, we will help you add and manage your tenant's mobile devices. Let's get started. From the dashboard, click on the site you want to manage. Next. Click on the Apartment List icon in the Device table. Select the apartment in the list by clicking it. On the next page, scroll down where you will find the Tenant's Device List. Up to 15 devices can be added per apartment. A device can be an app on a mobile device, an apartment station, or a phone number to call. In this demo, we will be adding mobile devices. Click on the New Device button to add a new device. Select App as Device Type and give a device description. For example, Mobile Phone Peter and enter the user's email address. This will be the email address on which the user will be invited to connect to the building and to create his account. If this user needs to have a separate entry in the name directory of the door station of the building, enter the name in the external unit directory field and activate the switch next to it. For the primary devices, activate the direct video option. This will allow the user to have the video immediately upon call. If this option is not activated, users will still get the call but will need to activate the video from within the app. Press the Save button to confirm. The device is now ready to be connected. After the user will install a Comlet app and log in with a given email address, the app will be automatically configured and ready for use. This will allow the tenant to receive video calls, open the door, and benefit of many other features from the Comlet VIP system. 
Repeat the previous steps for all mobile devices that need to be created. In case an apartment needs to be reset, for example, because the tenants are moving out, click on the three dots on the line of the apartment and select Reset. This action will remove the description of the apartment and thus the name from the name directory and the door station and all mobile apps. The apartment will be ready to receive the new tenant's information and the previous tenant won't have access to the building anymore. We will help you to invite your tenants to connect their mobile devices to the building's Comlet VIP system. The MySites platform is capable of sending an invitation to new tenants or to tenants who haven't connected their app to the building yet. From the dashboard, click on the site you want to manage. Next, click on the device name in the device table. On the next page, scroll down and find the option Periodic Invitation Mail in the Settings section. Click the icon on the right to open the settings page. Enable the switch on top of the page and enter a description for the building. This is the name that will be used to describe the building in the invitation mail. A good example would be to use the name of the building. Enter an email address and a phone number which tenants can call if they have any questions. This information will be automatically included in the invitation mail. My sites can send out mails to kindly invite the tenants to connect and will send reminder mails. You can choose how many reminders a system needs to send with which interval. Let's assume we want to send three mails with an interval of one week. In this case, all users will get an invitation email. After one week, only those who didn't connect to the system yet will receive a reminder. The same will happen the next week, after which no more emails will be sent. Finally, additional info can be added that will be included on the bottom of every email sent. Press Save to confirm and activate the settings. There are two ways of sending invitation mails. To individual users, or to all users who are not activated yet. To send invitation emails to individual users, go to the mobile device configured for the tenant, open the device details by clicking on the mobile device. Next, click send next to the email address. In this case, no reminder emails will be sent. To invite all new users, Go to the apartment list by clicking on the apartment list icon. On the top of the page, click invite all new users and click confirm to send the emails. Users will receive a kind email with instructions on how to connect to the system. In this video, we will help you to share and transfer sites. The MySites platform manages different user roles. The two main roles are the installer and the property manager. The profile for the installer is more oriented to the technical management of the system, whereas the building manager role is oriented to facilitate the management tasks. Both profiles have a variant for their collaborators. The big difference is that collaborators can't share the management of the site with other people. Sharing is reserved for the installer and the building manager. To be able to share to another user, a Comlet account needs to exist for this address. If not, please create one before sharing. To share a site, in the site list click the three dots next to the site and select Share. Enter the email address of the account you want to share the site with and select the role you want to give to this user. Click Send in order to confirm. From now on, this user will be able to see and manage the site from his site list. To see and manage the sharing, go to the Users menu on the left. After accessing this option, a list of users will appear to whom your sites are shared. It contains the email address and the number of sites the user has access to.
Clicking on a user will display all the sites that are shared with that user and the respective role he or she has on these systems. Using the icons on the right, the user role can be modified or sharing with this user can be revoked. Besides having users, every site also has an owner. The owner can't be removed from the site and has all rights over the users. Upon installation, the user creating the site automatically takes ownership. Based on completion of the installation, the ownership probably will need to be transferred to the property manager. To transfer ownership of a site, in the list click the three dots next to the site and select transfer. Enter the email address of the account to whom you want to transfer ownership to. Next, select the type of transfer you want to do. The first option is to do a complete transfer. This means that you hand over the installation completely to the new user and that you won't have access to the site anymore. Of course, after the transfer, the new owner could reshare the site with you. The second option is a partial transfer. This means that you transfer ownership to the other user, but that you will give yourself a new role after the transfer of ownership. You can choose the role you want to keep. Press send to confirm the transfer of ownership and confirm your choice in the pop-up to conclude the operation. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on this video, leave a comment below or don't hesitate to contact our team via info at comletusa.com. Don't forget to follow our YouTube channel to stay updated about new products and services.